going to be working on uh, replacing the uh, bearings on these um, trailer wheel wheels. And we have these tools that we're going to be using in the, uh, in the process. So you'll need a, uh, a wrench to take out the uh, uh, trail lug nuts. This is a seal remover. You'll need one of these. You can get all the stuff at Napa or Hot Advanced Auto Parts. Um, you'll see how this is used in the video. A couple of mechanics gloves, uh, a package of uh, vinyl, because you're gonna be dealing with a lot of old used grease that you're gonna need to clean up, which is why you need a ton of t paper towels. And then um, there is a uh, bearing grease, that uh, a tube of it that goes inside of this grease gun. And uh, I usually get the, the high heat, it's red. So just ask at Napa for bearing grease. Okay, so I'm gonna loosen these lug nuts before I put it up on the jack. Okay, so underneath here, this is the tire that we're working on to change out the bearings. I have a piece of wood here, just uh, so the jack won't have to drive into the ground, I'm putting it right underneath the axle. So you can see that I have a, have a jack here. And all I have to do is turn this little knob and up goes the jack, right? I hope. So I'm taking this cap off too. Grease is black, probably. Okay, so I'm just getting underneath this cap. Okay, I took that cover off. Clear away some of the grease to find the little pin. There's a little pin in here. Okay, so there's a pin in this bolt here. So I'm going to straighten out this pin so that I can pull it through. Can you see that hopefully? Caught a pin coming out of there. And there it is. So there's the cotter pin. Make sure you have a good place to capture your metal. I'm just using this little thing. It's a magnetic strip so that I don't lose any parts. And now I'm going to uh, unscrew this. There she is. Okay, there's the bolt. And uh, look at that whole thing just comes right off and the beauty is oh there's the bearing hello now we, okay so there's a washer you know and the bearing goes in like this so it goes in narrow in first see then then the washer so I don't know let me clear clean up this bearing and see what it looks like I don't know whether or not it's uh might not even have needed a replacement Looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't see any, they say that if these bearings are uh, bad, that you'll see fragments of metal from the bearing itself. Like it'll start to fragment and you'll see it in the grease and I don't see any fragments in the grease. So this is probably a good bearing, but nonetheless, I'm gonna replace it with a good one. Okay, so at this point, I'm trying to take this bearing out and I have this little tool and how I like to do it is uh, I get just under the cap. So there's a little bearing in there and there's a cap. So what I'm trying to do is I'm getting underneath just this cap, not underneath the bearing. Just hit, use a rubber mallet and you'll see that uh, just work it around. I don't know if you can see in there uh, or not, but this, the uh, cap is coming out. There it is. So there's the cap, the cap came out. And then I don't like to use these, but, and there's the bearing, the inner bearing. And now, Okay, 
Okay, so you're going to pack the bearing with grease. Basically just pressing the bearing um, into the uh, grease until the point where the grease actually goes from the bottom of the bearing and starts to uh, um, kind of appear at the top of the bearing. It's pressed all the way through and so all the rollers have grease on them. Okay, so I have the shaft. I put a little lubrication, lubricant on there, grease, and uh, the bearing is in there, and it's packed. So I'm just gonna put this over the brake. I uh, sprayed down the brake with some of the brake clean, just to clean it up a little bit. Bearing packed. Let's go on in there. Washer. So there's the cotter pen. And bent back and this is this nut was somewhat you know just hand tight and the wheel spins good so tighten them a little bit at a time okay cover some grease okay now we're just putting some more grease in here put this cover back on there it is done deal